pressure from behind, Thomas Leroy around the outside, Andre Lotter looks for the lead, the SMP car runs out very wide, Vitaly Petrov, right side. Right side. and he will rejoin back in fourth, Harry Tingle way out wide, so too the LMP2 pole sitter, Nico Lapier getting shuffled out of the pack, and it is the Toyota ahead of the pair of rebellions by Collins in fourth, everybody else sweeping through Eau Rouge, take a look again, Petrov locks up on the outside, and Lapierre follows him in, Oh, Lapierre finds there's many too many cars, he gets jumped around the outside, and there's nowhere to go, rejoins over the yellow line, you're not supposed to do that. Well, there from above, you see Harry Tingle rejoining right at the end of the runoff area behind the 66 Ford. So a place change in the GTE Pro class, and immediately the Toyota number eight under pressure. Toyota number seven not allowed to start until after the end of lap one from the pit lane. So they will start a lap down and six hours to try and make up that ground. GTE Pro Battle, Stefan Mucca leads for Ford, Jimmy Bruni, his first World Endurance race for Porsche up to second, ahead of Harry Tinkle, it is Ford versus Porsche, the new BMW and the Ferrari battling behind, and Aston Martin struggling with their brand new car on Wonderful its debut, Keep it up. on board the 92 Porsche with Kevin Estra and trouble for the Gulf Porsche, first time out with the brand new car, and that's oh, Mike Wainwright, and he's off me. at Lake and here's what happens in front. Spira Race, the silver Ferrari on the inside of MR Racing's new car. Around he goes. And where's Wainwright? Oh, going off in avoidance. That's really bad luck. Safety car has been scrambled to allow the Keep Porsche the to work. be recovered. And as the safety car queue clears the pit exit, the number seven Toyota begins its race. A lap down and lots of work to do.